Cheers. to the kitchen and like I could literally like smell like something I was like oh my god like I could smell stuff but then like when I was cooking like my onions and like the seasoning stuff that I could like smell it and I was like getting super excited like oh my god like my taste or my sense of smell is like coming back so I'm expecting it in a few days or so maybe like maybe like next maybe like mid like the middle of this week or the end of this week hopefully I can get everything back um, yeah, it's definitely been a journey, um, to just, like, not having, you know, like, your normal taste buds. It just makes, it just made me realize, like, how, like, you know, grateful I was for, to have, like, you know, a taste of smell and stuff like that, but also, like, how much it sucks, but then it's also, like, how much I, like, rely on, like, my sense of, um, how much I rely on like my sense of taste and smell to just like you know enjoy life you know like how much I rely on my sense of smell to tell me like when my food is done or to tell me if I need to add more of something um so yeah it's been a little bit difficult but like I'm not so stressed about it. at least I'm like feeling good like I think the worst part about being sick is just like feeling like tired and like apathetic you know but like, at least i feel like i don't feel that anymore which is like really nice actually so yeah anyways i'm gonna like watch some youtube eat my lovely dinner and relax i don't have classes right now so i'm just gonna like kind of enjoy myself you know also i'm thinking about starting the chloe team's two week shred and just like keep doing that like every day Talk about that in a different video, but for now, happy Monday. So I'm getting ready to go to um, the post office. <sighs> the post office and send my nephew's package. I'm so excited to do that. I haven't been to the post office in like a while. I find that like they're just like going through a tough time <laughs> um because like the administration is trying to like privatize like um the mail and trying to like bring in more usps i mean ups's and fedexes and stuff like that so if you have a um a usps near you just go support it buy some stamps send a package send a letter to someone you know i'm actually even thinking about trying to send um what do you call it um like become like pin pals with like people with, like this elder home that i saw on twitter and um and i think it's really cool and also a fun way to like support like elder people at home just like talk to them but also too to support usps you know like sending letters and stamps and stuff like that oh sending letters and buying stamps so yeah i'm gonna get dressed put on some comfy clothes because it's get my umbrella because um, the weather right now is not looking too bright. Oh, okay, so I have a package. I have to take out my trash while I'm out. So I'm gonna do that. There's a lot of trash to take out too, so. What's your favorite piece? Oh, the fire one? 
I know, I really like the gray. interesting day oh here's my stamps I had a really interesting day um, I wasn't planning on meeting up with Levi um, but like randomly like I was just like going to like the post office like I would have my headphones in and everything just like listening and um, at the same time that I got to like the end of the street he was also going to um, like, like trying to run some errands and stuff and I was like oh my god like he blew his horn at me and I was like like wait aren't you supposed to be at work but he he had like, an earlier shift or whatever so um let me just he had like an earlier shift today so he got up early and whatnot and he was just like where are you going I'm like I'm going to the post office to like to like drop off my nephew's package or the cinema pa cinema package and like we ended up running some errands together so um yeah so after we met up i went to the post office he went to the bank and stuff and then we ended up going to um dollar tree which i got a little haul so i got this little like tote bag like i've been needing like a little tote bag just like carry like smaller things with me so I got that. I feel like that would just be really interesting. I saw a really cute one in Marshalls. It was like every day is like Earth Day. And I was like, I really want that tote bag. But I was like, I don't want to spend any more money today. So that was smart. I also got these um, freezer bags. I just grabbed one. I have a ton of them. I just grabbed that one because it just looked great. Um, just for like storing like onions and stuff like that in the fridge. And I also got some cleaning gloves because I threw my last ones out because they were just crazy we also got this picture frame for levi's gift which it wasn't anything crazy but it was um it's a postcard from chicago that i wanted to get him um and like he also gave me my birthday gift but he got me my birthday gift and it was um this tequila mockingbird it's like a cocktail so the um, the, a literary twist so like every drink or like every like cocktail food in here is like named after like a a book like a very um like a um like, a, like an american classic book basically so we have like like the on um, the gin eerie the jane eerie by charlotte bronte and just like random like drink recipes which i'm really excited for because i love like mixing drinks and stuff i love like mixed so they also have like finger food in here. Give me a flask. <laughs> Which is so funny. Like and this is hilarious. Like a freaking flask. Girls with class don't need a glass. <laughs> That's pretty much it. So after that we went to Marshall's and I didn't get anything there, but he got like a a kitchen mat and he got like some other stuff. Yeah, I'm like looking for like things to, to redo my room with. But I just don't have the funds right now. So, yeah. I need to get a job, honestly. Uh, yeah, but that's pretty much my day, my Monday. I think we're trying to read something. Mm, okay. So, it's Tuesday now, and I'm honestly so tired. Um, I went to bed pretty late last night as well. So, maybe that probably has something to do with it. I just haven't been sleeping that well. It's so annoying. Um, but yeah, anyways. I don't really have anything to do today. I don't know, I'm just feeling a little bit like tired and also just like really sad. Um, okay, so it's currently 1.16 a.m. And, um, you know, I haven't really been as productive as I wanted to be today. 
um, I just like today I actually just finished um, doing my dishes which was something productive for me but um, yeah I didn't really get that much stuff done in my room is still a mess so yeah maybe I'll clean it up in a little bit but yeah it's like 1 a.m. right now um, and I really had this idea for like, a video to do it's like a kind of political -y, human rights political -y video and I'm like kind of writing down the script which is like my first time ever doing something like this for a video I normally I don't make videos like this I normally make like vlogs or like kind of like cleaning videos and stuff like that it's like something like fun and lighthearted but I had this like um I don't know like I really have this um this like drive to just like do this right now because I have like this idea so I'm just like writing it out and hopefully it goes well I, I feel like I should like, upload this video like either Sunday maybe Wednesday if I don't have it like finished by like if I have my like, script done by like tomorrow the next day because like I have that, the script done that I'll just film it and then like it's a lot to do but I'm really excited for this video I'm um, gonna have my video going up tomorrow, which I actually just edited the, um, like I finished doing that video a couple hours ago, but here's like the, um, the freaking uh, thumbnail, which I'm so proud of it. It actually looks really good, a lot better than like not what I thought it was going to look like. Um, but yeah, I'm just like really excited about this, like, I don't know. I'm getting my love for YouTube again after school, but yeah. Basically, I guess I can give like a sneak peek. So I'm writing um, a video about like ways to like support Black Lives Matter. Uh, so yeah, that's it. That's all I had to update for now.